Guys, welcome back to Fred Toy Fence. Today is a chaos in here, it's a madhouse. We have 20 boxes that came in from South America, but as soon as we came in today, Tank was having seizures and holy crap, I, I hate to see that. Matt saw it, he was literally just laying right there, blood everywhere, piss everywhere, it was just, I thought he was gonna go. So, well, I had to take him to the vet and leave him there and then come back to do the unboxing video. So, these fish have been here for a little bit and I wanna make sure that they're gonna make. So let's start with these boxes because we still have to show you everything that came in before we put them away. So this is an albino sprochilotus. These guys came in great. Look at the size. Great size on them, healthy. A sprocha who? Sprochilotus. Oh. It's like a type of flag tail. Oh, this cool. crazy guy jumping whoa. around here, this is a Dorado. Whoa. It's a golden Dorado. He looks super silver. So come here, babe, please. There's some golden Dorados there already. Let's get all of them. Yeah, so you and Kasha, yeah. I think they're all gonna be Portolotos and Dorado in this box. So we just keep them separated there. There you go. Have fun, girls. There's a lot of Dorados. You wanna take a whole box? All right, smart, smart girls. All right, oh, look now, at there's something big here. I'm gonna jump straight to the good stuff. Oh, Look at this dude. This is a big Dorado catfish. And he looks healthy and big. So. What I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to separate from the ones that are there because they get very spooky in a smaller tank. So we're gonna keep them separate. Okay. This right here, now, it's we have a lot of peacocks that came in. Fogos, uh, Xantix, hybrids, all types of peacocks. We're just gonna have to see what they are as their color come back. But they're pretty healthy though, look at that. Beautiful fish. And what they look now, it will look totally different a little bit once they're acclimated to their tank. This guy. So oh, yeah. we they got look, Panema, we got good. literally all types. Let's see here. These guys look like Dorados. Yeah, there's yep. a lot of Dorados all throughout. Alright, perfect. We need the Dorados. And these are the true golden Dorados from Brazil. So they're gonna be nice, big, and golden. Represent. Yeah, I don't know what this one is because you can't see it. He's super light. But everybody looking good here. Now, this is one that I actually got it for me. If you want one, money talks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you want one, we can try to get another one. But look at this. Look at from the top, Matt. This is a different type of tiger shovel nose. Literally looks almost like a tigrinum because of the markings and the flat head. But this is a tigrinus. No, I'm sorry. It looks like a tigrinus, but it's a tigrinum. So this is a tiger shovel nose. But instead of spots like a Karuska, and this one has stripes. Yes, massive, beautiful fish. They could only get one for me, and this guy is gonna be one of our grow outs, hopefully. I mean, it's not that we have a lot of tank space right now, but he's doing good. I think this one right here is gonna be all oh, Geophagus Savini. So there's a bunch of them. Yeah. I believe that they're all gonna be around the same size. Because I remember one time we brought in some large ones and the freight cost so much that we had to sell at a higher price. So I said, you know, just give me like medium sized ones. To be able to fit more per, per bag, per box actually. All right, so everybody looks good in here. Let's jump to this front row and then help the girls out and Ooh, look at this. Get to another box. I know. It's insane. We, we barely, oh my No joke, God. no joke. Dude, look at this. This is a big Bumblebee Oscar. Ooh, I got it right, Kosh. Yeah, you said that's what it was? Yep. Yeah. I was like, I think this is. So he's uh, very big, so he's gonna need, and you go from very big to very small. I don't know which oh. peacock this little guy is, but we have to figure <laughs> out after. He's a little, little dude. Yeah, he's out, tiny. Bud. Got him. All right, so over here is a mixture of bumblebees and a mixture of peacocks. All right, so far pretty good. We're gonna go ahead, put these guys away, and we'll be right back. Dude, check these guys out. These are the cousin of the Golden Dorado. These are Brycon. They look almost identical. They still get a decent size, but they're just not as aggressive as a Dorado. But body shape, everything looks pretty similar. So, we're gonna have to find a space to put them in. I think there's some other ones in a tank in the back. You sure? That I we did before. Here, come check them out. Okay, as the girls are taking care of the Brycon, <laughs> this is another baby peacock. Actually, not babies. They're about four inches, four to five. 
We got literally every species. I think we have Kelberry, Panema, Piketty, uh, Fogo. I don't know if Vazaleri came in or not. But we have a variety and I'll put you guys in. We have a variety and I'm gonna make sure I'll put it on the website for you guys. But as of now, it's like, you can't really tell what they are. You know what we could do? I could look here. <laughs> but sometimes we take the labels off. So we can't see it. <laughs> I think we cut around. Should have left the name. Okay, this one doesn't have a name. Oh, you know, behind you, there was one paper. Uh, I, I hate to admit it, but it kind of just. That's all right, it's all right. We'll figure At it out. At least it was the paper and not the box. More albino protolotus. And this is, the, like I said, the same family as the flag tail. So what they do is just kiss all day. Oh. Are you a protolotus, bro? Hey, yeah, smoochy smoochy. So, all, all albino <laughs> there. This guy's right here are going to be. More Dorados, uh, yep. okay, so there's a whole, probably a whole bag, yeah. school of Dorados. Dorado, 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 Dorado. I think we got a decent amount of them, but I'll tell you what, half of them are already sold. Woo! All right, so this is the, more peacocks. Ooh, look at this one with the stripe. Ooh. It's beautiful. Oh yeah. All right, so we got more peacocks in this one. There was a lot of peacocks. Oh, and look some at big it. ones. Beautiful fish. We gotta figure out what it is though. Mm -hmm. And you see this? What? Story of my life, yeah. You see this? This is pretty much carbon that they put in to take out the impurities in the water. Ready? Yep. Okay, so I think these are gonna be just a school of big, beautiful peacock bass. And we're gonna have to figure out what they are once they acclimate. And there's some smaller guys. That kind of looks like a fogo to me. This fogo had the stripe. So we'll see, we'll figure it out. This guy's right here, the smaller ones. And he's got different markings, you see? Yeah, they're like. But once we put them in the tank, the markings will really show and then we'll be able to tell what they are. Oh yeah. All right, let's see what's under here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, Whoa. two bad ones, but all of them are doing pretty good. Hey girls, hey. my pet, get over here. Okay. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I didn't say that. Yeah. Moderados for you. Yo, watch out. I see she's been training on Bob. She's gonna... Yeah. Well, she better be. Oh, sh I almost broke your rib. Oh, you know? That wasn't my ribs. Kevin, Kevin, it wasn't Rod that broke the box. That wasn't my ribs. This guy's upside down, so we're probably gonna have to take him next. This is a... The name is right there, dude. This is a Francis Dora Marmorado. So oh, these are actually pretty cool. I think they're on the rear side of the spectrum they weren't cheap to bring in that's for sure so let's go ahead and make sure that they're safe there's some big one over here too as you can see a little bit better same family as the armored catfish but these are a different species than the airwini oh they are different different than the airwini yes oh i thought they were that's a nice big one in there all right let's put them away and see what's going on but right now we got a decent amount of boxes. And before we leave, guys, I want to show all these fish for you in the tank. So we're going to acclimate and we're going to be right back. Much, much, much later. All right, so after 20 hours to unbox all these fish, you see all the boxes over there. <laughs> we're all beat, we're all tired. Look at her. She's, she's <laughs> the only one that's okay. But I said I was going to show you guys the fish in the tank, so I don't want to leave yet. So we show, so we're gonna start with these. Look at these fish, dude. This is really good quality Bumblebee Oscars. You can see the markings, even being in a plain tank, look how their colors are popping right now. Beautiful fish. We're gonna have them on the website pretty soon. We're just gonna make sure they're all quarantined, ready to go. They're already quarantined in Brazil, but when they come in, we wanna quarantine them again just to make sure that they're good to go. Now this one right here, this one might be a keeper. Look at this fish. So this guy is a Tigrino catfish. And they are pretty much like the Karuskans, they just don't have the spots, they have the, the, the markings. You see that flat face and all the lines? This is gonna turn into a giant. There's also a Dorado catfish over there. Great size, he's already like acclimated to people, he's not really bouncing around everywhere, so. Might be a keeper as well, but we do have four of them for sale. 
What else? Let's turn this way. Oh, boom, one boom. of my oh, favorites yeah. right here. The Golden Dorados. So they had a little rough trip. We got some medicine in there right now. I'm gonna feed them in a little bit. But they're really, really cool fish. These are the true Golden Dorados from Brazil. What else? There's so many fish, dude. Like when I look around, it's like, we got Chinese perch here, we got tiger fish there, we got e literally everything. So, Jardinis, albino arowanas. There's nothing. I mean, there's gonna be fish that we don't have, but right now we do have a good variety of fish. Dude, look at these Oscar's face. You see his face? Oh. He came in like that. It's like, it's almost like my wife in the morning. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Out of everything. Hopefully you won't watch this video. Alright. <laughs> uh, over here we have some cup of patrons. Now, I do believe there's a difference. Like, they come in as pure Evas, but I do believe these are cup of patron. And I think there's a difference between the ones that come from Peru, the ones that come from Brazil. But these are definitely the cup of patrons. And I don't want to sell them as pure Evas, even though they came in as pure Evas, because I know they're not pure Evas. And these guys right here, the Francis Dora, do you remember that name or no? There's some really nice ones. No. Do you remember the name of the Kimmy? No. no. Kevin! Oh. Francis Dora, what? Yeah, Francis Dora, Marmotas, or something like that. But, oh, I lost a little bit. The markings are. Did it get wet? No, 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 I was back in the camera. Go. No, no, we're good. Yeah, so the markings of those guys are really cool. So that's what we have in the steak. Coming over here, we have the Brycon, but the Brycon got shipped together. So, like, they're not really aggressive. They're actually a good um, type of fish to have instead of a Dorado, for example, if you don't like a predatory fish. I still like the Dorado. They're my favorites, but the, the Brycon are really cool as well. They're just not as aggressive. So, when you see other scales missing, it's really not from being aggressive, just from bumping each other in a bag. Here we have literally a variety of peacocks from Pogos to Panimas to Kelberries to Azuls. Right now we're just gonna take care of all of them and then we're gonna start separating them. But right now we just put a lot of them in this tank because of the filtration. And then we also have, what's your step? We have some Pogos over here. We got more over on this side. This is the bigger guys. They're all fat and healthy, which I like. like I hate when peacocks come in like all skinny because it, it takes a while for them to recover. We got some Sabinis. And these guys, as they grow, their colors are very, really pretty fish. All right, more Sabinis. That's the same fish that was in that tank. You see how the markings are different? So, you see the, the, the body shape, the face, everything else? It almost looks like a weenie. You got those two weenies over there, it's just two different fish. More brycon. So, I gotta figure out what these are. But, I, they came in as a, a, a hybrid peacock, and look at how thick that bar is. It's like, it makes me think like, how, what is this fish gonna look like when they grow? You know what I mean? As you can see, like it's thicker than all the other ones. And it's still got the spots too. Yeah, I mean, some of them have more than others, but that, that one's particular right there. I think he's gonna look really, really cool when he grows. See, it's cool that we get to see the fish first here because then you're like, oh, I can pull this one aside from me, but I'd rather just send him to somebody to actually can take care of him right now since we don't have all the tank space. Uh, these guys are really cool. This came on the last African shipment. Okay, these dudes right here. Those are the albino protoloters I was talking about. They're actually very neat, and you can see they have the same type of face. Look at that lip. It almost looks like mine. <laughs> and all they do is just suck on They look well, good. Let, let's do this way. They just do kisses all day. Look, they're, always, they're always kissing. You yeah, see that? They blow kisses. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, really cool fish. They don't get giant, they get to a decent size, but they're in the same family as their um, black tails. So, 
here are the same as the Bumblebee Oscars, but these are baby Bumblebee Oscars. It's so cool to see the babies. I was gonna ask. Already like, like that, you know, like, you know, active, eating, you know, these guys are already eating pallets. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little, look at this. Ready? A little bonus. You guys ready for, for this? You ready for this? Look at that. Just arrived. Oh. They're already like that. Literally just hours later. Yeah. Bumblebee Oscars, man. They're really, really cool fish. So we got them right here. We got some more monos. We got the silver peacocks. Just these things don't have lights here. But we, we see have, them good. Yeah, we have the monos and the silver monos. So we got a decent amount of peacocks in the shipment. And then in here we have those albino. I wouldn't say they're albino because they got black eye. So let's say a, a, a leucistic tetra from Brazil. And they're not as aggressive as a an axolon, but they eat just like it. Like what's what's the food? Actually, let me, you know what? Let me get that food over there real quick. Look how they eat. Pretty cool fish to have too. Like I would actually have some in a tank with the black sand and the blue light, but there you might have to back up a little bit. There you go. Look at that. Oh. Crazy, right? So imagine a whole school of them. And the cool thing, they're not expensive. So you can have a whole school of them with the blue light and the black sand. These guys will like show up yeah. everywhere. They eat really cool, honestly. Yeah, they it's all that. I told you to move away, right? Yep. So it was a decent variety of fish. But right now is when the real work starts because we got to make sure that they're fed, they're healthy. You know, we got to make sure we keep up with the water changes. We got to put medicine in here to help them heal their scales faster. Besides that, everybody was good. Um, I don't really have much complaint about this order. Dorados are doing good. Oscars were good. It was just the whole day was a mess with Tank taking him to the hospital. By the way, I just talked to the vet and um, he, they said that he's in a stable condition. He had another seizure after he would drop him off and uh, they're gonna put him in some stronger meds. So hopefully, He'll come out of this one, but his brain was swollen, and they don't know how he's gonna be after this. So, if you guys can help me pray for him, that would be much appreciated. And that's it. So we got a lot of work to do. Hopefully, we will have this on the website quick for you guys. But um, let me ask you a question: Which one was your favorite? Oh, you know, I'm I'm eyeing everyone up. Yeah, put you I, on the spot, bro. I honestly might have to say these guys, these Bumblebee Oscars. They just have that little circle at the end. And then it's like red and orange and yellow, like ah. Do you know why they have that circle yeah. at the end? No, I don't. Well, I'm, I didn't make the fish, but if I can imagine something is when a predator is going to attack them, instead of attacking their head, they'll attack their tail thinking that's an eyeball. Really? See what I mean? This way they can still recover and live. That's what I would think it is, you know? Because it, look, it looks just like the size of their eyes. So it almost looks like the front of the fish. Yeah. So if a predator is coming to attack, it will attack the back end instead of the they front are. end. They are unique, but I don't know. We got a lot of bass in too. It's, yeah, it's, it's the hard. bass when the colors come out, they're good. Like these albino iguanas that we had here for a while, they're growing, they're healthy, but we also have these little dudes. And the cool thing about them, look at this. They really eat right out of your hand. So it's cool to grow a little one like that because you get them used to you since a young age. And they're not shy at all, you see that. Oh, they're coming right up. Be spooked. They're going crazy everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, you know, some people can't have a little one because they already have big fish in their tank, so they need bigger fish. Well, some people need smaller fish. Some people need no fish, and which is my, my case. I'll see you guys next time. If you, hey. All right, before, before yeah. we go, shout out to Steven because I have an empty tank, so we'll see. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Steven, for giving uh, Koi Head over here. A tank. Oh yeah. Are these fish gonna be on the website pretty soon? Oh yeah. You gotta promise. I gotta, I gotta work. Don't get mad. Do I get to sleep tonight? No. It's a lot of fish. It's gonna take a while. Well, I think you can do it. All right. Tomorrow morning, you'll all Damn. be there. Damn. That's messed up, but we'll have it up for you guys. Thank you for watching. Let's pray for tank, and I'll see you guys next time.